Welcome to Common Man Cocktails! This is Derek, that's Ian, that's this Whistlepig. Old world. Alright, so... Uh, this is the zoom in, because it's a small bottle, so you can see it. This like is... Big. When we do reviews... Oh, it doesn't screw off the focus. No, it doesn't... This camera is very good with focus, it never really blurs in and out. Cool. It does have issues with white, white balance, because I have an auto white balance, so it's probably like, if I do this, and I do this, you'll see some of the dimming. So pour that. Here's the thing. With water, when you're without doing water. What? Without water first. Yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> so when we, we when we typically do reviews, people send us full bottles of stuff. Now, whenever I get a small, a bottle. small bottle, I always question, like, there's only two reasons. It's people are cheap and or they, that's what they send their PR people. Not typically a thing. Or it's an expensive product. Or it's an expensive product. Pain XO. It was yeah. pretty expensive. It was like it was. $20 or whatever. And it, was, and it was really good. Or 80 whatever. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it was like 80 It was a lot of money. For rum? Uh, $80 well, rum? $80 is a lot for rum. Yeah. I yeah. went out to uh, drinkupnewyork.com where I found the price, and it's on sale right now. It's regular price is $130. It's on sale for $109.99. Now, with Drink Up New York, the trick is it's always on sale. Right. So what they do is they just say, here's the price that they suggest we sell it for. Here's the price we're really selling it for. Yeah. So we're cheaper. because We're on sale, so you want to buy it now because you never know when it's going to end. It's never going to end, but that's okay. <laughs> um, in any case, we're looking at someplace between $100 and $130 for this this small bottle here. That is the reason we not have a small bottle. Small okay, bottle. not for, for, for a $750. For $750, yeah. but that's why we have a small bottle here. Right. <laughs> um, the 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 numbering system on here is all messed. It's eighty six proof. Forty three percent is what's been written on the bottle. Thirty percent of this is French. These are the casks. The, the casks. Right they're, they're percentage of uh, cask aging. That yep. Thirty percent of the cask aging is in uh, French Sonternes. I can't. I'm not French. Antonin. 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 Sixty three percent is Moderna casks, and then seventy seven percent is a port, port casks. Cask. So there's no this, doubt this is a lot of work put in. You did say this is a rye, correct? Right? Product of Vermont. I did not say anything about it being rye, Product but it's a rye. Yeah, it's a rye. yeah, uh, yeah whistle of Vermont. Yeah, I didn't know it was distilled in Vermont. in Vermont. Yeah, it's it actually Vermont. distilled in Vermont. Oh. Uh, hand bottled at. Uh, mm, that's Stone. not the same thing. Yeah, I thought it said distilled somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it's distilled. It probably doesn't have to say on that bottle because that bottle is so tiny and this yeah. is not for resale. So those typically uh, distilled in Indiana. Okay, so it's MGP. It's MGP. MGP. Uh, or Yes, and so it's a blend. the The price in, aged and bottled in Vermont, but distilled in. Vermont. So what they do is they take the they liquid, take they ship those, it over, yeah. Yeah, and then, and they, then do they do all the and, right. Yeah. So uh, for those that don't know, that there there are only a couple big distilleries that do a lot of the process and the science behind it, and the aging and the resting process. And but there's a reason for that, right? Making a distillery is expensive and right. highly regulated. Right. And people who do start, who are just starting off, can't afford all that overhead. Right. So you start by branding your product with somebody else's mash, and then you make your distinctive taste. If it takes off, you make money. Right. You can build your own distillery at some point. Right. So it, it would be like the equivalent of saying, um, you want to start a company, so you can either spend three hundred thousand dollars or seven million. Which do you want to do? Yeah. You're like, oh well, if I do the three hundred thousand and it works, I'm going to make money. And I'm gonna maybe get a couple million, and I could start slow and build my own unique product in house. It's like renting your building because you can't afford to buy one. Right. And eventually so, you buy one if things right. work out well, but you gotta start renting. You you you're a rent first. So yeah. and that's not abnormal for most of the brands. Probably ninety percent of the brands it's, in the U.S. Especially when you see this boom in craft brands. Right. I mean, not yeah. all these small craft brands can go out and buy a distillery oh. and distill their own shit. That's a lot of work. It's a, a lot, lot of work. Money. But they can't put their own stamp on a mash bill. Yeah, a lot of right. money. Not necessarily. Well, a lot of work, too, but it's, in the blending, it's not like just as much work to do what they did, too. The, the yeah. price that you're paying for this, no doubt, is not just the master blending, but the aging process. Because they're keeping yeah. these in... The, the bar barrels themselves, the cost is nothing compared to how much time you you have these things on premise that you're right. sitting there waiting you're, for something to happen. Space isn't free. You're paying for space to age mm -hmm. right. The barrels aren't cheap, either. Barrels are like... Are they fifty-five or one hundred fifty-five bucks for a barrel, something like that? But um, um, when you have an when, when you look at the overall part, cost of the product, yeah. it's, it's it's trivial. It's nothing, yeah. Uh, but if you say I have fifteen hundred square feet to make product, that is a fixed number. You have to work within that means. That means every square foot is costing you money. That's pretty good. That's hot. It's very Woo! hot. It's spicy too. It is, and it's caramel. And it's, oak. it's definitely rye. It's got that musky. <laughs> rye. Yeah, rye. I don't know how rye. to. It, it's definitely rye. You get yeah. the musky, musty 
taste to it's it. It's like a, it's got like a leather component. To it it yeah. smells more like I a wine. I want to make a Manhattan with that. I want to make a Manhattan with this right now. Mm. Uh, where, where's your vermouth? Mm -mm. It's not there. It's not mm. in that refrigerator over there. No, but I I bet you anything there's some vermouth. There's some vermouth over there. I got I got some Le Blanc. Le Blanc. Le Blanc. It's sweet vermouth. I got some. There's some on that shelf, but yeah. Then you have to open it. It's pretty tasty. I mean, I'm reticent to spend so much on a bottle. I am. That's. I'm. I'm gonna go with a simpler word. I'm Has cautious. Been? Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, but see, that's why if you can get in a small bottle like this yeah. and you really liked it, yes. something like that, you know, would be now, worth. Ooh, it. You know, there's a company who does that now. That kind of thing. Oh yeah, we got one of those. Yeah. What's it called? Flavier. They they do. Uh, Flavier. The flights or samples of oh. like of, uh, of product. So you like see that different types of rums and, on the show. and whiskeys or whatever. It's a, it's different packages, yeah. and you can get like nips of things that don't sell nips, so you can right. try like, it out. Like the Penny XO rum, yeah. I would be, yeah. you know, I would consider buying it because we had had right. it and it right. was if really. If you, good. Well, you're not gonna buy it without having it. Right. right. If yeah. you take, I might, but if you take, uh, you so know, just get you roll deep. I, 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 like, I'm just like, it's kind of a baller. You know? <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this about Derek, yeah, but. I'm a baller. He's kind of a baller. He's kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. I'm such a big deal that they only send me a small bottle. Um, the, this is a product, though, because of its complexity, that I, if I bought, first off, if I spent $100 on a bottle, which I would totally do, uh, I, because I, I like it, um, I still, it would take me years to drink it. Because yeah. I'd be afraid every time. I'd be like, you don't want to waste pouring it. liquid gold. It's like I only want to have my like bestest of BFFs over. And, and it was like, a special occasion. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point, too, that yeah. Guitar Girl makes is that MGP does do custom mash bills, too, if oh, you yeah. want. Good point, yeah. Custom, I, yeah, they, this probably isn't one of those, I would think, because it's got so much other things to it. The last thing you need is a custom mash bill and then all these other complex things, I think. Hmm. Mm. Um, I can't say that I pick out all the subtle notes that is probably on the back of the big bottle. Right. Or all the tasting notes that you can probably find a drink up in New York. I get spicy, creamy, um, oaky. Definitely some nice musty. oak driven, uh, spiced, musty rum. Um, spiced, musty rye mm. that you get out of a rye. Um, it doesn't taste as traditional as a rye. I wouldn't. I would use this in a drink like a Manhattan or something that just has a little bit of splash and vermouth. Where you really want the rye to shine. I'd you like. You want that spirit to come out. This with a, a little whiskey sour. No. I don't think this is a whiskey sour. This would all. be the most expensive whiskey sour of your <laughs> life. Um, a, a little bit of maybe a, a citrus zest, um, some some vermouth. I would even hold that to the side, and a, and like a little bit of a bitter, like maybe a. I don't know, like a, a rhubarb bitter or something, like completely different. Hmm. If you want to get more Sazerac, you go with Ooh. like a Wormwood. Yeah. Um, which I don't sell those, but uh, I, I will eventually. Yeah, very, yeah. I will. Um, so the something like that to, to give it a, a unique twist, go ahead. You're probably going to need to add... Nothing's coming out. There you go. You're going to put... That's a large drop for that. Yes. Here. I, 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 like we go... One at a time. One at a time. Boom, boom, boom. I think that's still a large drop for that? Yeah. One more. There's 20 bucks. <laughs> um, bucks. I have nothing to do with that after, so you can just. In a shock and awe moment, you can just suck the whole thing down. <laughs> oh. Shock and awe? Yeah. Shock and awe! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm glad I put my thumb on that cap because I almost that inhaled it. Yeah. The cap? You almost inhaled the cap? No. Oh. If you would have died, <laughs> if you die on camera. Ah! <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I did get some on my hand. Chuck it off. Didn't really get it too much. No, it's it's just so vibrant of a flavor. Um, well, there, there's a little bit of the oak, but not much. There is, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a sol solid, like, I drink this alone. Well, with friends, but that is a that is a bottle where I would bring this out when my friends are over, pour a little bit, add a little cold, chilled water to it, mm. and go... And sip that to begin the night, this, loosen guys. up a little bit. Yeah, when your taste buds are numbed up. When you, oh, you have don't your want cigars. To yeah. Oh, you want to smoke your cigars with this? Jackets. Your clothes, yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. Don't smoke cigarettes because that's just bad for you. But yeah. That stuff without a filter, right. that's where that's, the, so that's where better. it's at. Yeah. Well, you're not drinking. Well, you get your vaporizer out. Get your vaporizer out. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe a little bit of uh, Mary Jane or whatever. And I'm talking about cigarette vaporizers, which are legal now, to keep people <laughs> from smoking and inhaling the toxic smoke. Yes, but uh, they have vapes that are. I don't know. What Mary Jane. Oh. They do, Jen. You would know. She because it. I read the chat room. <laughs> okay. I do not own a vapor. Yeah. Riser. <laughs> gotcha. We got some shout outs ready to go? Go. Alright, Brennan Crosby. To not to be confused with Bill Cosby from oh. Mississippi, America. I no you said movies here. Bread and Cosby. Brennan. <laughs> Bread and Cosby. Hey. Hey, hey. Easy on that vaporizer, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Adam S. from New York. Uh, Christian <laughs> from Germany. Ah, yeah. Vielen Dank. Wait, that doesn't really fit that. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Arnie Pie from Belgium. Uh, How's it going? <laughs> Arnie Pie. Oh, I like that name. That, that sounds like a name from Texas. It's a badass name. Um, Jan M. from Norway. These are all international folk. We had a Jan who used New to work York. with, uh, he was a contractor for our company. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Is it Jan? Yeah, it might have been Jan. If it's in Norway, it would be Jan, right? Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Austin Thanks, B. Jan. from Manitoba, Canada. Thanks, Austin B. Oh, Manitoba, that's another province. Uh, I would have assumed Austin B. would be from Texas, but... So that was a uh, I two Americans versus four internationals. Yep. Luckily, you guys aren't playing soccer, because you would have just lost. Four to two. Four Done. to two. That would have been the loss. Um, question of the day! What's your favorite holiday? It's almost time. It is. I love Thanksgiving. Christmas. I love Black Friday. <laughs> Thanksgiving's my favorite. Thanksgiving's yeah, good. family time, food. I like Don't have to worry about presents. Yeah. You know what? As I've gotten older, I have to kind of almost agree with that. Yeah. Like it's less work. I mean, there's cooking and stuff involved, but it's more fun. You can just hang out. And yeah, see each you, other. there's no there's a lot. Well, there's, there's stress no if you m might actually have to host it. But there's less pressure for buying people stuff. Yeah, it's not. It's not when you get stuff. I, I'm not a good gift receiver. So I, I always feel awkward receiving things. I feel bad. I don't like people buying stuff for me. You feel it's bad for people giving you stuff. Yeah, well, that's when you just that's have true. kids. Because then you just then cut you that all out. Well, no, well, you, you like, just get it for the kids. You don't need to get it for me. Ah. Get it for the kids. You just have to spawn. Oh, time to have kids, time I guess. Time to have kids. <laughs> Maybe, well, have you Make always felt that way? happy. Yeah. yeah, I never really liked getting stuff. <laughs> Even when you were a kid, though? It was um, different when you were a kid, right? It was a little different when I was a kid. Probably right around 12, 13. No, yeah, I grew out of presents at some point. I'm like, I don't need anything. Yeah, my daughter's not out of that yet. Spend your money on you. Yeah, that um, you, you might just be more of a worthy. more of a <laughs> humble person than most people. I, you can spend your money on me. I don't care. I'll tell you what I need. It's gonna be more than you want to spend. <laughs> I need a great new you guys, camera lens. You guys can go in on it as a group. It's okay. Yeah. If, yeah. Exactly. If you guys in the chat room in lo if you guys want to buy me a Christmas gift, <laughs> you just all go in together. And you can get me a new camera because this one pissing me off. No, uh, it's just the memory card. Yeah, but yeah, new memory card. Let's then. just, just generalize. You can all go in together on a pack of gum for me. Yeah. <laughs> memory card for me, pack of gum for him. Uh, so, what is your favorite holiday? I'm I, I'm gonna still say, uh, you know what? As a father, Christmas is pretty cool because you get to your that. kids are all crazy about it. Uh, from a just a pure eating standpoint, I would totally think Thanksgiving because I like stuff I really a lot. A stove top on the on the stove. Pop. Yeah, my mom makes an awesome turkey stuffing. Look that! I just want the instant, <laughs> instant Great water. Stuffing. I my grandmother makes the sausage stuffing. I'm yeah, not thrilled about sausage stuffing. Nothing. Enough. Yeah, I heard I you're like bread a big sausage fan. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lie, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you're a big sausage fan. All right. <laughs> she Come loves on. the sausage. <laughs> 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 yeah. Lucky me. You're yeah, her first. Not, not. She's not a big fan of vagina. All right, nope. we're done. <laughs> If it's not your own, leave it alone. We're teaching you how to drink. What are you using from? We got a plantation. We got a plantation. Why did you, you know I was gonna say that? Because I looked at the thing. I'm like, Anybody oh, that looks like the guy from Scrooge. Like that. Yeah. So he didn't get your reference. He just was in sync with you mentally. You, are you guys well, in the same menstrual you, cycle too? Well, something. <laughs> we have been. 